Well, here we are. A uh, good chunk of the way down the old uh, Columbia ant trap or sarlacc uh, pit uh, shaft that so many of you come to know and love at the uh, Columbia site. We spent the last week, uh, Dan and Robin and Evan, uh, putting up a new shaft collar and hauling garbage up out of here. And now we're down here on some new ladder looking around at the uh, first glimpse into this old shaft since God only knows when. And you can see the new ladder coming down and some of the, the old ladder over here that's good for nothing anymore. And if I turn around behind me and some more ladder goes down and eventually this thing bottoms out down at the 165 level where we did the blasting last year and it connects up uh, via drip to the main shaft. And we're going to get us there eventually, but for now, now we're looking around down here for the first time I've been down and a lot of new uh, timbers and Lag and put up by these guys and some beautiful old stuff up there that's all vintage railroad tie. And down here is Robin, the experienced guy who's made most of this happen. So, okay, Robin, tell us what's going on here and what we're looking at. Yeah, the, the uh, cavity here on the foot wall, we don't really have much of an explanation for yet, but as... There's a lot of debris that was just thrown down from above. There, see some plastic. Uh, Thanks, litter bugs. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a piece of flex conduit, which would have been from some of the powered equipment up above when that was uh, stripped. Back in the anaconda days, you figure? More than likely, yeah. Uh, uh, this was a hydraulic hose, or well, not hydraulic, probably pneumatic, a big air hose. But now it's caught in the rubble, so we cut it off to get out, get it out of the way. And just pulling a little bit of the dirt around here. This is a, uh, it's a, a quarter oct uh, drill steel. Those were used in a stoper drill. They did not have a collar on them to to pull back, but. Stopers drilling vertical, the gravity took care of that problem. It's laying pretty much flat here, so we figure this goes back in some distance. We don't know it's blocked completely at this point, and maybe all it was was just a little shelf. Until we get the rubble out of here, we're not going to know that. And here's uh, another piece. This is Probably from the 1930s onward, anyway, a steel braided uh, air hose. That would have been from fairly large equipment. Uh, Handheld uh, mining drills didn't use anything that nearly that large. Now down in the floor here is a another piece of steel that's lying horizontal, which makes me think there may be a, a floor here. We just haven't uncovered it yet. What's that, that, that can, some sort of apple that's stuff? right here. Yeah, that's somebody's. You know, a, a lot of people camped up here over the period of years when there was no, uh, no watchman or anything around. And if there was an open hole, they'd throw their trash down when they left. I'm looking up, I, I see. See you, Dan. How you doing? There's Dan up there, folks. Great Dan Riggs taking our picture. I'm taking a picture of Ross taking my picture. Yeah, I got a picture of you taking my picture. You're on video. Yeah, we have fun out here. These guys are great. I honestly could have done this without them, and uh, glad to know them. And, I mean... Robin here is an old miner himself, so this is all second nature to him, and he's forgotten more about this stuff than I'm probably ever going to learn. So, gotta suck some knowledge out of him by osmosis here. <laughs> so, so what all have you done here in the last few days? Just kind of the, the nutshell, other than that beam you're sitting on and all this. Well, we yeah, we did put in a few pieces, but for the most part, it was clearing out the rubble that had been pitched down before, and then the sections of ladder that were too badly broken up to use again. Which There's a lot of it up there. Pretty much everything from this point upward. And if you threw old tires down here, let it be not I hate you, okay? Those <laughs> things were a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
that was kind of a surprise. Well, the mattress was, you know, we weren't looking for that either, but. <laughs> yeah, surprise, surprise, surprise. And what's next? Where, what are we doing down there? Well, we're going to try to get, get a hold of the uh, broken pieces there and snake them back, get them out of here. And clear off to the next uh, sound timber where we can get our, or put one in where we need it. Get Just keep extending the ladder down. Hopefully we'll get to some ladder that's still usable. I think there's some down there, but I think, probably, I mean, I hope. There probably is where some of these things have fallen across and blocked where the big rocks didn't bounce on them. Because that strips the rungs out. Let's go take a look at the other end. We'll do that in a second, for sure. Um, and just, by the way, the, all this lumber down here, I mean, you guys milled all this stuff. Huh? Yeah, we had uh, had some dead pine trees that took down up near Big Bear. And uh, I couldn't see just beautiful logs. And I couldn't see just cutting it up for, you know, splitting it for firewood. So we got a, made a chainsaw mill or bought the things really the brackets and like that and slabbed it and, and we've been turning it into mine timbers <laughs> now it'll, it lives on i mean yep. this mine will show the work of you know three generations of you know, operators the old uh, tacopa consolidated company who probably put a lot of this crap in up here uh the anaconda company that came in after them in the 40s and now hmm, tacopa mans me us it's all working so the history continues. Thanks a lot. And yeah, like, uh, like Dan suggested, we'll climb up out of here. We'll go on the other side and look at this up from the bottom. Sound good? Good from here. All right. Now, having screwed around on that side of the shaft for several days, we're going to go down here and take a look at it from the bottom. This is the Columbia pit. A lot of you recognize. Uh, there's Dan up at the top. Taking pictures of Roth, taking pictures of me. <laughs> and Robin over here. So you saw him in the last section down there giving that informed narration. And we're going to go down there and walk into the bottom of the shaft and take a look up from there. So more fun, more fun. Stand by. Oh, are you going to go first? Oh, I don't care. Get on. Get on it in. We'll see if that ladder's uh, really as secure as it should have been after the last repairs we did. Don't bump your head on the back. I just, I'm still paying off those rocks. That's the... Oh, here we are down at the, uh, the 165 platform now. Ladder going down the shaft. Ladder going up to 165 right. And we're up here on 165 left. Heading back to the shaft we've dug out. And boy, you can sure feel the air coming down here now. That is nice. We opened that all up. By we, I mean them. Look at the air coming right from here. So fragile. Yep. Usually it's calcium, calcite. Yeah, be, be. Don't say oh shit. A little bit of copper right in here. <laughs> okay, he, he said something most shitty down. Let's go see what he's doing. Now I'm worried. Did we throw too much crap down? Yeah, that's right. And all the stuff kind of just spilled down. And I was just looking at this timber set is all pushed over. Uh, yeah, it's just right here. And that there was a big, huge boulder up there. Yeah. There was something and, came off of here and, and yeah so <coughs> that's that's what we blew up last year uh, so we blew that boulder up normally the shaft can oh it's the drift still continues on a little further down there yeah. we've been gobbing some of the big rocks there's there's the shaft we're working so how far it all right. i can see the ladder we just yeah. put in there, there's our ladder right there it's about 40 feet up i think yeah so that that, that jam up of timbers and pillars and whatnot 
Yeah. This old ladder over here is still. Most of that stuff we nah. can. Uh, we can either snake it up or down, but just get the garbage off of there and then uh, reattach the ladder and put a put a section in between. Some of those beams look like they're probably reusable too. Yeah, I think most of them probably are. Yeah, there's this. So, we pulled all the loose stuff out of here. There's, yeah, there's some of the garbage that fell down. Uh, yeah, there's some of the trash. Yeah. I know it wasn't here before, so. Uh, you see your hammer up there? <laughs> no, but it's probably it probably parked somewhere in all this. We'll find it. It could be in the dirt too. We'll find it. Yeah, one thing about stuff you know, if you shovel it up, you're gonna find it. Like is there everything been tossed and everything just down? Okay. Yeah, don't don't put a lot of faith in that board there, Dan. No, okay. I'm not. <laughs> that board it's gonna come down and say hi. Yeah. It's got one nail in it. Not easy to get all up right. there. Now, if you get up there and just, just off to our left, we got a small a sub level up there. Okay. It's got some rail in it. it. Doesn't go back very far. Andrew Keeper was up in earlier. Okay, therefore we were standing up there. Okay, yeah. this was the bottom then that we were seeing. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. So. Just straightened up. Maybe I'll drape it over my. Yeah, you can see there, they used a lot of six by eight in here. What does that go to your left there, Rob? Is that a flat area there, or does that go yeah. back? Yeah, it just it goes back about six feet. Oh, that all. They were just kind of cutting into that. Well, look, look behind you. Keep keep pivoting to your left. Get get yeah. rail back there in that sub level. It doesn't go oh, far. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. but we're we're actually uh, this shaft was cut in the vein. So they had to leave pillars here and there, just for mechanical support. And see this piece? Uh, no, that's that's rotted a little on the end, but it's not burnt. I'll point out you got that nice collared dress shirt on too. You're probably the, the best dressed miner down here in a long time. <laughs> Is there a rail up there? Yep. Yes. How far did it go? Well, back. I'll tell you here in a minute. I've got to get around back, the corner. Back in a ways. Oh, i got to go through two. Really on what you got up there, you say? Uh, that's white gauge rail. Oh, that's pretty small stuff. They, oh, yeah. Toss it down. Yeah. They, they, can, they measure the rail the, by uh, how many pounds per yard, I believe. And it goes from... You know, 12 pounds up to 36 or whatever, different sizes. <laughs> yes, a little stuff. I'll set that down uh, here off to the side. This has got a lot of debris just kind of, I think, pitched in here. I've been standing there just 30 feet up from this. Yep. I'm down below that ladder. That's where you've been working. Yeah. Now, if you go back in here a little way. This ladder doesn't look too bad, actually. I know, right? I don't know what's hooked on the end down here, but, well, maybe that, but that's not too bad. Then you only have to do another 20 foot of ladder. Yeah, so my plan, we could pass that blockage. I think we could reuse that. Maybe replace some steps, but that's. Yeah. That's that's doable. Now, don't. He's, he's gone on us. Let's, let's just find him where he's going. Get up there, or somewhere. Okay. Where's he going? Oh, he's going around. That's yeah, let's, let's, what you got there, Robin? Get up in there, let's, let's go chase him. The fire apparently got into a stope, uh, just down the, Oh, I don't know, probably 15, 20 feet behind me. There's a uh, a little ore chute, and you can stick your head in there. It's about a foot square. That's dropping down from, from a uh, stope above. The floor is still in the stope. Hmm. Maybe the stope is off to that side that's up there that we were looking at. Yeah. What and, is that? And you can see here the... Uh, Look a little black there. It's blackened. And fire? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it still smells like fire a little bit back in there. 
Yeah. How long is that rail there? These? Yeah. About four foot. Okay, pass it down. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Just I didn't say I was gonna carry it. Up. If you can chunk it down to my uh my left there. I'll chunk it on my left. Let's see if I can't. Well it's heavier. Okay. So, yeah, there's a yeah, if there's a convenient place to a stove or something that you just pour this stuff into. That goes back up there with stove yeah. too. Yeah. It, it, so, yeah, it's just the vein must have run like this. As I don't envision us hauling all this crap out of here, so just getting it out of the way. Yeah, the uh for the board. Yeah, a, a lot of the stuff up up above, you know how it had like that hard, relatively smooth ceiling. Yeah. Yep. That the uh the head wall that was the it roof was, on the shaft. I was, was glad that to a knot that was there or did they cut that out and maybe put a windlass in it or something? That's a knot. It's a knot. I can see the grains kinda all curved into it. Okay. But uh, I was hoping. Yeah. Huh? See, they, they're, they kind of did the same thing we're doing. They couldn't see throwing that lumber away just because they had a knot in it, you know. They, for somebody, you know, high end stuff, they just get the, uh, yeah, that's the, the clear wood. Hey, no drinking down here. Californians. Oh yeah. Best Californians. We hate Californians. Are we coming down and go yeah, back? That's, yeah, there's part of the, the old uh, way to get across here, I guess. It's just a four by six. It's still there. How far it go on the other side? Can you see? Oh, back into the ground? Or over this by, across the shaft. Yeah. Yeah, it just goes side to side. The other side looks like it's raised up a little bit. Yeah, it Who knows why? I can see it from yeah. down here. Okay. This piece here, okay, that's lagging. It's actually relatively secure. Well, I'd go over there and climb the ladder, I guess. It's the easiest way to get off of here. All right, come on down. Let's go do some other stuff. I can 